Welcome to the very first Eagle Sixer Nation podcast. I am your host, Don Castile, and I'm sitting here with Connor Zordon, Thomas Mellon, and Kyle Campo. This podcast is created to branch off an Instagram page, Eagle Sixer Nation, which has been amazing to run for the past few weeks. I am here with my best friends who plan to dedicate their time to run this amazing podcast. This podcast will air weekly on Fridays, where you can hear sports arguments, news, and everything sports. It all started on January 26th, 2019, and uh, I I, I seriously can't believe that that was three years ago, but I remember January 26th, 2019, like it was yesterday. That was a Sunday, Um, and I woke up on January 26th, and I was just bored. I was completely bored, and I said to myself, hey, you know what? Why don't I start an Instagram fan page? A Instagram Eagle Sixer fan page, which I ended up calling Eagle Sixer Nation. And um, I've done this before where I got bored and just created an Instagram account, um, a fan page account, posting my thoughts, my, you know, reporting something or posting some edits. Um, I've done this before and eventually I just get burnt out after a while. Uh, But this one, this Instagram account was the one that stuck. And um, on January 26, I just decided to post a video of Nick Foles calling the Philly special, and that post blew up. Uh, on that post, I got over 30,000 views and 5,000 likes on that post alone. Uh, I have no idea why. Uh, it took no skill for me, but that post alone was enough to get me motivated to continue to run that account for several months after and eventually create an entire podcast based off of it. On March 15th, I decided to use the fan base that I built on my Instagram account, which was about 700 followers, which for me, it's a big number. And um, I used that to advertise this podcast that I started, that I wanted to start to run. And on March 15th was the first ever podcast I ever run and that was with Connor Zordon, Kyle Campo, and Thomas Mellon. Those are my three good buddies that I decided to run the podcast with. We, we did our first ever podcast in my high school, uh, Springford High School Audio Studio, um, where they have three mics there. There was four of us. We, <laughs> there was three mics, so one of, two of us were sharing one mic, which sounded awful. Uh, we had no idea what we were doing. We were talking over each other, yelling at each other. It was such a good time. Give one coach suggestion, real quick. In, in, place, of, Lou. Lou. in place of Brett Brown, just you, listen to what I have to say. Chip Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happened to be that we ended up doing nine more episodes after that. Each one getting progressively better. Um, and eventually the school year ended and we couldn't utilize the audio studio anymore. So we had to stop for the summer. My name is Paul Moser, and I am an English teacher here at the 1012 Center. I teach 11th grade English, but I also teach journalism, and uh, I am the advisor for the school newspaper Rampage. Um, Edon and Connor and Thomas and Kyle had asked me to advise them uh, for the radio broadcast uh, during their sophomore year, and uh, easy decision to agree to help you guys. It was really exciting for me to do that because radio was really, when I was your age and uh, you know, Kyle and Connor and Thomas's age too, that's what I wanted to go to school for. Um, you know, I interned at WIP as a producer and um, you know, it, it was really like a good opportunity to kind of go back to that. Like, you know, I did radio in college, so it was, an, it was um, really, I, I was excited to get a chance to see students do it. I've always wanted students to take that initiative. And that's probably the thing that impressed me the most about you guys is that you took the initiative to do it. The first couple of broadcasts, there were a lot of production issues. There were a lot of like, you know, is this mic working or that mic working? Those things kind of, you know, went away as the pr- production improved. Um, and especially the quality of what you guys were saying to each other was, was much better the more 
practice you got with it. The, the big thing was talking over each other. Thomas brings up a good point. Would we have beat the Bears? We traded a fourth yeah, round pick for one I mean, no, Cody Park three, is also third round. Cody Park. That was the, and that's really one of the hardest things to do. And you guys, this, you know, broadcasters work together. They learn when to start, when to stop. And I think you guys did a great job with that as it went on. Yeah, you could just, and the thing I got from you guys talking was just the passion you guys had for Philly sports. Like it was the typical, you know, Philadelphia attitude. And uh, you certainly bought knowledge to the game, but you also bought a lot of passion. And that's the other thing I remember too, is just your passion for the sport. Also, Cody Parkey's the greatest Eagles kicker oh, in history. Oh, for sure. Right? Cody, Cody Parkey. Can we have a round of applause for Cody Parkey? Yes, Cody Parkey. Oh my gosh. After the summer, when we came back to school, me and the three other guys, we wanted to bring back the podcast. We really did. Um, but we are high schoolers. We did have massive schedule changes and it was just really tough to find a time to be able to get a podcast out, get out the content I wanted to come out with. I feel I needed to go on my own pace and get out my own content. And while I do wish I could continue to do the project with the three other guys, I am happy in a sense that it kind of became my own project. I remember it like it was yesterday. I went out with my mom to Applebee's. And I sat down and I told my mom, like, hey, look, I'm thinking about branching out on my own, creating my own podcast. And my mom was like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And I was like, I just have a really hard time coming up with a name for one. And she was like, just like so carelessly, like didn't even think about it. She was like, oh, what about Sound of Sports? And my eyes just widened. Like the Sound of Sports, that just sounds so perfect for what I'm trying to get out. Um, it's, it's unique. I think, I think you could do a lot with that name, and uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to come up with a better name than The Sound of Sports. And um, from, that, from that point on, it all began. The uh, episodes daily, the like hours of editing. By the way, the first like 20 episodes of Sound of Sports were god-awful. I was so, filming from my phone. I, I, horrible audio using like phone filters to try to make it better um they were truly truly garbage content but you know looking back on it it's awesome to see where i was and where i am i invested a lot of my own money i invested a lot of my own time into creating and generating the best quality content that i can um originally i did the podcast in my room filming from my phone and then I did, uh, and then I came down here to the basement and I used this curtain uh, that I now use as a tablecloth as behind me as like a backdrop, uh, still using, uh, using my phone. Finally, um, I was actually able to uh, get myself a camera on my birthday, uh, which is a great birthday gift. And since then my quality has been much better. I was also able to get my, my lights as a holiday gift. Um, I brought all my decorations and sport equipment down here to put on these shelves. And uh, honestly, if you're watching my podcast and you look at the quality, you would think I'm in a professional studio, but really this is an unfinished basement and a broken cabinet here that I had to tape back together. And it's only gonna get better from here too. I know that for sure. I wish I could come on camera and say that it's been an easy experience. I wish I could come on camera and say, hey, look, it's been smooth sailing all along. I have had no issues. Um, I, uh, I've, I've definitely have never almost quit before. I wish I could say that, but I would be completely lying. Um, it's been tough getting, you know, staying motivated. You know, I spend, you know, probably about two, three hours on each episode that I do. You know, I, I spend a lot of time researching different content and segment ideas. I spend a lot of time on camera filming repeating myself until i get the right version i spend a lot of time the probably this is what takes up the most time editing um and posting it and advertising and all of that time all of that work all of that effort on top of schoolwork, on top of extracurriculars it, it results in what 15 views it you know nobody watches it except for you know a few people that i send it to I love to do it, but if nobody's watching it, why am I doing it? Um, and I'm still at that point. I'm still at that point, trying to find a way 
to get more views. I, I'm trying new things all the time. But while that is a struggle, while it is tough to sometimes get out episodes during the school week, and sometimes I do go on droughts, it's all part of the experience. It's all part of my ultimate goal to become the best version of me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.